Topic 12, Lesson 7, Modeling Addition and Subtraction of Mixed Numbers. Well, so far you've learned how to model adding fractions. In this lesson, you'll learn how to model adding mixed numbers. The standards are understand a fraction, a over b, with a greater than 1 as sum of fractions 1 over b, and decompose a fraction into a sum of fractions with the same denominator more than more than one way, recording each decomposition by an equation, justify decompositions, e.g. by using a visual fraction model, add and subtract mixed numbers with like denominators, e.g. by replacing each mixed number with an equivalent fraction and or by using properties of operations and the relationship between addition and subtraction. Mathematical practices, we're going to make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. We're going to reason abstractly and quantitatively. We're going to use appropriate tools strategically and look for and express regularity in repeated reasoning. Our focus is how to use models to add mixed numbers. Let's take a look. Tori is cutting bread loaves into fourths. She needs to wrap up three and three fourths loaves for dinner and one and two fourths loaves for a bake sale. How many loaves does she need? So, three and three fourths loaves for, for dinner, one and two fourths loaves for a bake sale. So, what we have here is three and three fourths plus one and two fourths. And what we can do is we can set up our model and kind of go from there. So, if we went ahead and divided this into fourths, all of these into fourths and it makes it a lot easier just to see it, have a visual representation of everything. So we know, let's go ahead and highlight it here. So we know we're gonna need three whole right here. We need three holes. So we're gonna need all of this one, all of this one, and all of this one. That's our three holes. Because the mixed number in a mixed number, the first number is the whole number. And of course, the last part is the fraction itself. So we need three holes, plus we're going to need three fourths. So that's the first part of it. And then the second part of it, we're going to go ahead and we need one hole. So we're going to need this whole thing here. And we're going to need two fourths. So we're going to need this fourth and another fourth. So what are we going to need here? Well, we're going to easily need one hole here, another hole here, another hole, another hole, another hole, and this one fourth left over. So, in reality, we're going to need five and one fourth. And this picture shows it just by coloring in these, uh, these boxes. So another way of looking at it is we can actually add mixed numbers, especially if they have the same denominator. So we know all we have to do is add the numerators together. 3 plus 2 is 5, and the denominator stays the same. So if you have like denominators, it stays the same. And then we go ahead and add up the whole numbers, which is 4. So now we're stuck with 4 and 5 fourths. Well, we know that that's an improper fraction, so that really represents, so we can take our four whole here, and this is really one whole and one fourth, because that's four over four is a whole, plus we have an extra one. So again, four, we have one fourth, four plus one is five, and we get the same answer as we had back here. All right, let's try another one. Let's time subtraction. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can solve 2 and 3 eighths minus 1 and 7 eighths. Good luck. All right, so how'd you do? Did you use boxes or did you go ahead and just subtract it out? So we can easily do this. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
and another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then for over here, let's make it a different color so we can see it. We need a hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. And another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so we're going to need two holes. We need all this. And we need all this. Plus we need three eighths. One, two, three. So that's what we're starting with. We're going to start with two and three eighths minus one and seven eighths. So this is what this looks like. But in reality, what we need, we're just going to stick with this picture over here because now we're going to subtract. So the best way to do that is to go ahead and take away. We need to take away one whole, that's gone, and seven eighths. So we take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what do we have left? We have this part right here. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we really only have left over five eighths. Is that what you got? Good job. All right. Well, now try some on your own. Good luck.